Yes, we're definitely close, aren't we? Yeah, well, we're close. I think yes. we've certainly got closer with age. We had a certain um, a few years when I was a teenager that I was an oh. absolute nightmare. <laughs> well, inevitably, teenagers are awkward anyway. Yeah, but mine were but pretty spectacular. You <laughs> spectacular. I must admit, they were, darling. They were uh, worrying to say the least. Yeah. And uh, then you grew out of it, and you became a totally different person after that. You just matured. Yeah. Which is nice. <laughs> I'm glad you think so. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, do you think we're at all similar? I think in lots of ways. We're both fun-loving. <laughs> we, yeah, we like a good time. We, we like <laughs> a good time, definitely. I think you're much more serious and ambitious than I ever was. I was never ambitious or, or wanted to, I would like to have got ahead. I mean, I would love to have done that, but it was uh, not in the same way as you. you if I don't think I'm more, actually that ambitious, weirdly, I just think that I'm... I'm no, you're much more, more focused, focused than I yeah. ever was. Yeah, uh, I think there's that. I don't know, I've, I've always found, you know, it, what's been really interesting is obviously there's this, there's a movement at the moment, which, is, which has been a long time coming, but you know, it's very poignant at the moment, we're talking about feminism, and it's really interesting because you, um, you know, through circumstance, were a single mum, brought three kids up on your own, came, you know, when you, my father broke up, came from absolutely nothing, and then built up like the most amazing home, and you know, uh, it was always really, um, I always think subconsciously that's really embedded into me and I think that that's made me be more of a powerhouse and far more, like I said, I don't really think it's ambition but it's like this need to uh, succeed and achieve and not to fall flat and I think that's definitely come from you for yeah. sure. Um, because that, you know, that time you were an absolute like, you just had to crack on, didn't you? There oh, was yes. no messing about. No, no, there was no messing about at all. No, we had to. Crack on, we had to, it was sink or swim time, and we swam. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> no, for sure. So, I think your style, you've always kind of, I think you're very classic, but you like to make a bit of a statement. So, you know, you, you're more likely to have classic lines, um, quite elegant, but then you might have, like, one wacky element to it, whether it be a big piece of, like, jewellery that's quite a statement mm. piece or I mean I'm trying to think of us going out like you know some of the stuff you had would be like pretty well, quite you'd a wacky have something, coat yeah you'd have a wacky coat or you'd have like something really glittery or you'd have a huge handbag or like there, yeah. there's one piece about it that would be really statement yes and you I think you're very well obviously very up to the minute anyway. You think? Uh, I'd but say it, quite but in, the No, no, up to <laughs> the minute in a, in a vintage way. Yeah. Um, which you really enjoy. And also you're quite classical in your dress as well. Yeah, I am now, for sure. G Gizzy, yeah. if you remember rightly, when you were very young, <laughs> you would only wear your boys clothes, uh, boys clothes at one yeah. stage, little shorts and uh, trousers the whole time. And to try and get you into a dress, for a party, <laughs> although I did manage to get you into dresses for parties, I cried. You, you didn't like it at all, <laughs> no. you hated it. And then that all changed. Yeah. Just once you hit your teenage years, it was a totally what? different yeah. thing. Started off with the, like, in, sort of, I love Courtney Love and I just wanted to wear sort of little tiny baby doll dresses and ripped fishnets and DMs. Well, hence your punk fashion when you were in your teens, where you used to wear the most horrendous things, like hot pants with stockings and suspenders and <laughs> pointy Madonna bras. We talk about like the punk phase, that obviously developed into me being a... I was a massive scene-ster in, in the sort of subculture thing growing up, and you know, that went into sort of me loving Psychobilly, which then went into me loving Rockabilly, which then got me into the 60s mm. garage scene which is kind of how my style developed, you know. It went from sort of street punk all the way through to 60s. So I still think that that's why, you know, even when I look at 60s clothes and the clothes that I wear and my style, I still feel like there's still a hint towards the punk stuff, or at least me being wanting to be a bit outlandish, I guess. So I think that, I think over the last couple of years, that's the truth. I think mm. that I went through a phase of having very much a signature look, which was little 60s dress, beehive flashies, <laughs> you know, that was kind of my mm. look. And I still have that, that I think is 
you know, now I'll definitely wear more trousers and I'll definitely wear, you know, high-waisted jeans and... Well, you'll and wear boots. one all-in-one pieces and yeah. sort of boiler suits and that sort of... Well, not boiler suits, what are they called, those... The thing... Uh, jumpsuits. Jumpsuits, yeah. which you like. But never let your style become too old. That's really important. Yeah, you You've don't still got have to that. be young and busty. Well, sometimes I do. Uh, no, you sometimes don't. I look a hundred and under the bed. Yeah, but... well, I probably do as well. Like you know, I th I always think everyone always you always like the hot mum as well. Everyone always was. Uh, I remember. Um, I probably shouldn't say this. <laughs> there was a we had we had a, a friend. Daddy had to because my father was a photographer. Daddy had some rude pictures of you that we found, and one of my mates who was a punk stole them. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> that oh dear. Truth. Oh well. <laughs> yeah, that did actually happen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you're passing <laughs> through the makeup. That's good. Yeah. I'll have them back. <laughs> yeah. You did look great. <laughs> I'd like to see them. <laughs> yeah. We were in Covent Garden. Oh yeah, we did. Yeah, we went shopping together. Uh, yeah, and it was good. Right. We had a, and we were choosing things that were Totally different, obviously, but then there were some things that we chose together that that we kind the kind of suit, kind of suited us both. No, I but do it's remember nice being to be able garden. to to um, find as uh, find a brand which suits yeah, the older was. woman yeah. and the younger woman. I know, and that's really that's really nice because basically it means that the younger woman feels more sophisticated and the older woman feels a lot younger, which is very useful. I remember I had a dress very similar to this and I loved it, absolutely adored it. You always bang on I about drop waist and everything. You're I know, trying I love... to get me in a drop waist. I know it's true because I think drop waist is really flattering. Flares with satin shirts with long collars and uh, it, they were sort of very South American looking, so it was hysterical. But the flares, I definitely remember. You wouldn't have worn them with a crop top. See, if I had, yes. if I, I probably no, would have. That's actually very smart. I actually very would have smart. years ago. I think yep. that's amazing. That's that a great nice. outfit. All right, oh my yeah. God, these are amazing. Yeah. I love these. These are really great. Yes, those are. Oh my God, those, those are incredible. Those are definitely 1970s, those. Those are incredible. I well, really they're brilliant. These. It is cool, though, that these, like, these are kind of like quite a mixture of different like styles that have come back and they're still they're always going to be classics aren't they but they suit a variety of ages mm. uh, age range it's a good um it's a good collection because it suits one and all yeah which is nice. i mean obviously over. some things are are slightly for for younger people but also i mean i could certainly wear some of those Definitely. Yeah. I think we'll probably be fighting over these guys. Maybe. I think I want these. <laughs> <laughs>